Hey folks, dude here. Basically, uh, still enjoying, still enjoying. But now I have a new toy. I got an MVP 2.0, and uh, it's it's a used piece I just got off of eBay. Got a really good price on it. Um, the seller is kind of a goof, but you know it, it it is what it is. This thing, however, yeah, this thing. This thing kicks ass, even with a, um, you know, a Kanger kind of bottom rung clear miser with like, you know, just like, was a TS3? I'll put in the annotations if I'm completely screwed on that one. But man, it's something with a bit more ass than like the standard, you know, e Ego T or like the, the twist it makes such a difference, man. This thing is so kicks ass. It, it really draws and pulls hard. And I'm still playing with the voltage settings. I'm still learning it. You know, of course, you have the little thing there. If you want to see, like, how these actually do work in and out, I very much suggest that you go to the, uh, the Fred Hart channel, you know, G Gear Obsession channel. He will show you the ins and outs of the uh, this little booger right here, man. This this thing just, uh, I believe it's the Inokin or the Eye Taste. I'll put it in the annotations again. But it, I think it's the Inokin. But, man, this thing is cool. Now, I know there's better stuff out there. This one's kind of bottom rung. But you know what? I got into this thing for, like, under 30 bucks. okay? Brand new. They tend to go quite a bit more. And then, of course, there's, like, you know, the really, really hardcore stuff. It is actually really kind of cool. It is one of the later ones. It actually does have the recess switch. Um, it was charitably taken care of. I have two tanks with it. Those two tanks are probably going to go in a bowl of glaring alcohol and get washed out really, 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 really good. Because, um... Uh, I don't know who's been sucking on it. This, this is my tank. I know exactly where this thing's been. It has only been in my yap. Mm. This thing kicks a major ass. Uh, now, it's also probably got only a partial charge, so I still got to charge it up and all. But... Before you guys get into the mods and the other really kind of crazy stuff, if you want to stick with basically like, you know, the coil style tanks and you're still in the learning curve of things, get yourself a better battery. If nothing else, yes, this thing's a little bit bigger, but from my measurements, it's pretty much about, mm, about an inch and a half, almost not quite two inches, by about the uh, better part of four inches, by about an inch thick or so. Not a ridiculous handful. As a matter of fact, in the hand, you pretty much could, uh, you know, hit the button with your thumb. It's very, very comfortable. As an ex-smoker, of course, you're not basically going to be walking around with the thing like, you know, holding it like, you know, you're holding a cigarette, but I rather like this thing already. I'm using some of uh, Vapor Cave's uh, Grape Weed Whacker. Okay, now, with the extra voltage, this tank is kind of really, you know, it's lost a little bit of taste, but it is smooth. The drag on it, the volume on it is absolutely insane. This is actually one of the modified slightly. See, I punched up the holes. This one is kicking some major ass in terms of, like, you know, airflow. That is like five times the volume I ever got out of the EOT. And it is like five times the volume I ever got out of the twist, even using this little dinky Kanger guy. Upgrade your batteries, folks. Trust me, you will not ever regret it. If you go mod or you go drip tank or any other kind of crazy stuff like that there, you're going to get even more results out of it. You'll be able to fog like, well, you'll be able to fog like a fog machine. But <clears throat> case in point, man, this thing seriously is kicking my ass for under 30 bucks, man. I am a happy camper. I'm going to leave the guy, you know, a positive response on my, uh, you know, to him, eBay feedback, his shipping and his communication kind of freaking suck. The box I got is laughable. It's like a dog biscuit box. But the thing works. He basically gave me everything that he said he was going to do. The shipping, like I said, was kind of a little bit sketchy. His communication flat out sucked. So I'm going to definitely make note of that. But I did get it, and it does work. He said it may need a charge. He's in a pawn shop. But, you know, what the hell does he know about, like, you know, uh, vaping and all the rest of that good stuff. But I'm going to break up on this one, folks. Eco keep the as always, always. You know we love it. Mm-mm, Punisher style goodness. Oh, good times. See you guys. Oh, eco keep the ten ring as always. Always, you know it. Love it. Vaping goodness. Ah, oh, good times. See you guys. <coughs>